Hello, guys. This is Alan from Saplos Company. Thank you for watching our video. For our last two videos, we have tells how grid B sales happened and how to distinguish the grid A and the grid B sale. Now we have found the right sales and the trusted company. We can start to design our battery pack. As many people do not pay attention to the data sheet, they just design the battery pack as they want. So today we are trying to offer a video to tell us how important the data sheet is. It will help you decrease the risk of your battery pack and longer your battery pack sack life. Let's take Cypro's 3.2 volt 100 ampere hour battery cells as an example. Let's begin. First is the overview. It tells some basic information of the cell. For this part, we need to pay attention on the initial inner resistance, charging temperature, discharging temperature, and self-discharging rate. For initial resistance and self-discharging rate, the value, the less, the better. And for self-discharging rate, we have tested for three months, and finally we get the number. For charge the battery, it is the most important part of your design because most battery explode during charge. So we need to pay attention on the charge temperature, the charge voltage, and the charge current. From the data sheet, we find the charge temperature is from 0 to 55 centigrade, and some cells are 0 to 45 centigrade. So when we design the BMAs, we should set the low temperature cutoff and the high temperature cutoff according to this number. But most of the BMAs just have high temperature cutoff. They do not have the low temperature cutoff function. I have talked with many BMAs manufacturers about it. They told me that if they set the low temperature cutoff, then client cannot charge the battery when low temperature. Then they will think the battery is broken. It will increase in the after sale service rate. But I think it is not right. Because if we charge the uh, battery below 10 uh, zero centigrade, it is not only affect the battery cycle life, it also may cause the battery to explode. And for the charge voltage, it should be less than 3.8 volt. That is why the NCM or NCA battery charger is not good for LFP battery. For charging, many people design the BMS charging current as they want and do nothing to protect the battery from broken. They just know the cells is 1C charging and 1C discharging and pay no attention to the charging temperature. From this data sheet, we have shown you the right way to charge the battery in different temperature. So when you design your BMS, you need to know your charging temperature first, and then set your BMS charging current in the right way. Or you can just change the charging temperature through a heating system or cooling system. And the next is the discharging mode. For this part, I think many people will pay more attention on this. Cypro's 100 ampere hours cells, the standard discharging current is 50 amperes, and the max continuous discharging current is 100 amperes. If you need 200 amperes, it, it only can support 3 minutes, and if you need 300 amperes, the cells tempor temperature should be less than 15 degrees, and when SOC is more than 50%, then it can support 60 seconds. And when the SOC is less than 40%, and it can only support 10 seconds. For this part, if you increase the discharging current rate, then you decrease the, your battery cycle life, and your battery pack risk will increase too. Just like the test report shows, if you charging and discharging at 1C, then you will remain 18% DOD after 3060. 600 cycle life. But if you charging and discharging at 0.5C, then you will remain 18% DOD after 
DOD after 4,800 cycle life. And if you can do shadow charging and shadow discharging will be good too. For this charging and discharging specifications, maybe some people will say this only you sales have this limitation, but I want to say no. All sales will have this limitation. Many factories do not tell the details through their data sheet. But we have spent more than six months to, date to get all those details. Just wanted to help more people to understand the Leon battery and reduce the risk of the battery pack, longer your battery pack cycle life. And then it's regenerate pulse charging mode. This charging mode is normally for electric vehicle. When you break your electric vehicle, the motor will create a big current and uh, some people will regenerate those power to charging back to you to your battery. If you need this function, then you need to pay attention to this part. Capacity at a low temperature. That means different temperature it will show different capacity. So before you design your battery pack, you need to confirm your working temperature first. In this way, you will get the real power of your battery pack when working. For temperature raise, you also need to pay attention to this part to make sure your working temperature within our requirement. For storage specification, the data sheet tells for long time storage, the capacity will decrease permanently. So do not stock your battery for long time. And then it's working condition. For this part, I think two things are important. That is charging cut off voltage and discharging cut off voltage. We need to set three level cut off voltage to do triple protection. Uh, that's all. That's what I want to talk about the battery. We have spent a lot of time to tell something about the sales. Now is your turn. Welcome to test our battery. We can develop product together.